one of the most basic and important coding skills inside Microsoft Education Edition is to teleport. So do so, we're gonna create a new project. So hit C on your keyboard, then we're going to um, either create a new project or go into an existing project. So I'm just gonna go into an existing project I have here. And you can see here, we start off with these blocks here. You can either use the on start or the on chat, which comes on as default. I like using the on start. We can even tell, there's two actions we can control in this world. We can even control an agent, which is a little sort of automated sort of robot we can control, or we can control the actual player's actions. And obviously both of them are important depending on what we're doing here. The player actions are through here and the agent actions are through here. So I usually use the agent more and get the uh, students to control their actions. So I'm gonna show you how to teleport an agent. All the actions the agent are read. And then you've got this big block here which says agent teleport to and then facing this way. So if we left click on that, drag into our start. Now if I press play, it does nothing, okay? Because I can't see my agent. My agent's still in here somewhere. Nope, can't see him. Oh, there he's there. So he teleports to the player. Okay, so then what we want to do is we want him to teleport to a particular location. So let's say I want him to teleport here. Now, obviously, I can just have him teleport to the player, which is probably the easy way to do it. But the better way of doing it is to teleport it to the grid where you're standing. So to do this is you press Escape, Settings, and then you want to scroll down and you want to turn on the Show Coordinates. Hit Escape. So now, in the top left-hand corner, we can see our agent position and our position in the world. So the position is where we want to jump to. So we go back to code view hitting C. Now this block here is not much use. So we have to go to the positions tab, select the world position, then drag that and drop that on top of our agent teleport to. And then inside our X, Y, and Z coordinates, we're gonna put those, in my case, two, two, nine, four, and seven. So I'm just going to enter those in. Then you're going to have the agent facing a particular direction, so east, west, north, south. So I just want my agent to face west. When I'm ready, I press the play button. And I'll take a step back, and my agent is teleported to my location. Now this is a really useful skill because you're probably going to want your agent to teleport around the world. As I said, you can use the teleport player option, so teleport to the player, but it's not very good because if I'm standing over here and I run my my command, my agent will teleport here rather to the fixed location. 